This movie is going to be so fucking expensive. No one's thinking about how we're going to make the money back. I, I don't even know how we're going to break even. I don't know what the budget is. What's the budget? Exactly. Well, wait a second. The budget was $15 million. Well, you know what? Guess what? You know that line, $15 million? Look behind you. You know, when we play indoors, we play in the round, uh, in the middle of the arena. But before that, uh, we did a bunch of stuff that was fairly theatrical. Peter Minch had this vision in terms of bringing in a lot of the imagery from the album covers. He had an idea for a stage that, that had all these, these uh, what do you call them, effects? He said, what if we took the snake pit from the Black Album? What if we took Doris, the Lady Justice, and brought her back on? What if we took all of these great things, which I called the greatest bits, not the greatest hits, and put them all together onto one stage? That's drawn in scale, 100% accurate to the actual construction drawings. It's going to have very much of that feel to it. It's that dramatic. Jesus, Tony, I think we're not charging enough for this show. So think about 200 feet of that, Peter. Think of that six. No, no, I know. Wide. It's, it's like, the biggest thing anybody's yes, ever seen. It's oh, yeah. fucking daunting. I'm getting a what are you thinking about? I am too. Uh, Mark Fisher, the guy who designed the stage, came up with some drawings and some concepts. I think we've done everything that he thought we could do. I'm not sure Mark thought we were going to do all of it. But I think we did all of it and asked for more. We are at Treasure Island. It's kind of a creepy place, but at the same time, there's this creepy beauty about it, you know? And what we're doing is we're testing a stage, a, a huge stage, incredible stage. Physically, this is a monster. I'm told that this is the biggest thing that's ever been assembled indoors. It's got everything. The crosses pop up, you know, you've got Lady Justice, a toilet. You know, it's the Swiss Army knife of stages, is what I call it. We have hydraulics, pneumatics, lasers. We've got automated winches. We have automated chain control. We've got projection, LED. We've got pyro. We have gas. The joke from the guys who built it is we have more technology per square foot than anything that's ever been built. And I tend to believe them because I've moved it a couple times now, and it's pretty big. We are just under 40 trucks, which, to put it in perspective, 10 trucks is a pretty good-sized show. 20 trucks is a giant show indoors. <laughs> So, we're going to shoot the band today. I have a friend who's good friends with Cliff Bernstein. And Cliff is explaining to Renee that Metallica had built this amazing stage, and they wanted to make a movie that Renee said, you need a producer. He dialed my number. He said, hey, would you like to make a Metallica movie? Practice safe filmmaking, OK? Especially BJ, you guys who are up there. Is there okay. trap doors opening on stage? Yes, yes there are trap doors opening. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. as tricky as it gets. Yeah. I've done a lot of things in 3D. I've done nothing but 3D for 15, 16 years. Tuesday. I have a question. From the minute <laughs> they walk out, okay, no. how long until they're ready to play? <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> a week from Tuesday. You know, they say hurry up and wait. This is it right here. I've been standing in this spot for two hours and 11 minutes. <laughs> I was told. Three minutes, they'd be out. With how many people? And I'm watching, and I am watching that door, like a like a like a schoolgirl in love. We have worked with Metallica probably for 20 years, building their shows. We build all of the top touring rock and roll shows that tour throughout the world. When nobody's really done it before, and you're designing things to be shot in 3D, there was a lot of unknown. We're getting it, slowly, dragging them one by one from their lair. Okay, what do you think Winky's over there doing, besides pissing me off? Stop talking to James. Winky, let James go onto the stage. They're still not here. Oh, my god. Oh, they're killing us. Okie dokie. Honestly, I'm speechless. When I have my crew, Texting, that's when I know I'm in trouble. Yeah. These guys, you know, they're not free. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That doesn't happen in my world. Plan the shoot, shoot the plan. We did one. OK, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I've got, I'm, I'm Lars. Where's Lars? OK. <laughs> 
<laughs> you ready to go? That'll be very nice and relax. Okay, you set? It takes a while to wrangle them all and get them up onto the stage, but when they go, they are perfect. They were, they were incredible. It's a big stage, so there's a conditioning factor. This is actually a great way to kind of break in the limbs and the tendons and the muscles. I like when things, by the way, this it is, does this, look like it's by the way, this is, as a test, is an experiment not only of the technology uh, and of seeing what the guys look like in 3D, which is fun, it was also a great test of just sort of using the stage crew from Metallica and the camera crew that, that we brought and just watching them work together. It's actually quite, quite fun. Mm -hmm. 